Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're coming across an error message on Windows 10 or Windows 11. The error code 0x8007129. The tag present in the reparse point buffer is invalid. So this will hopefully be a pretty straightforward process, guys, on how to resolve this error message. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So all you have to do is open up the search menu. Type in CMD, best match, you'll come back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And now into this elevated command line window, you want to type in chk, dsk, space forward slash r, space forward slash f, exactly how you see it on my screen. So again, chk, dsk, space forward slash r, then another space, and then forward slash F. Again, exactly how you see it on my screen. Hit enter on the keyboard. Should come back with check this cannot run because the volume is in use by another process. Would you like to schedule this volume to be checked the next time the system restarts? Tap the Y key on your keyboard. Hit enter. This volume will be checked the next time the system restarts. So close out of here and any open programs and applications and go ahead and restart your system. Do not tap any keys because you want the scan to initialize successfully. I will be skipping the scan in my case because I don't want to make this video too long. But it will say if you want to skip, click any key within 10 seconds or so. So I will let it show up on the screen as you can see here. I am going to tap the key to skip over the disk checking. But in your case, do not click on any keys. Let it actually run successfully there. And the command that we typed in should automatically scan and repair corrupt files on your hard drive. So once you've restarted, hopefully at that point, if you did let that scan run through, do not click any keys like I did. Like I have to really emphasize that. I know some of you guys probably did. Well, you're going to have to go back through and do it all over again, except this time don't tap any keys. But pretty straightforward process. I do hope that I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.